which is deposed as a new king of Sendacor, Carlos Alcaraz. Carlos Alcaraz came to the professional court in February 2020. The Zaz in his game had everyone hooked. The tennis court has been dominated for the past 20 years by just three players. Roger Federer, Novak Djokovic, and Rafael Nadal. The tennis establishment wondered if there ever will be another to rule tennis. The new generation showed little promise until one man changed everything. I know you are wondering who and why. His name is Carlos Alcaraz Garfia from Spain, and he is the next big thing. Welcome everyone to one of the best tennis videos on the internet. Today we will take a look at the youngest tennis star of our time, Carlos Alcaraz. We will take a look at his best moments on the tennis fields which left the world in awe. So, sit back, relax, and let's jump right into it. Carlos Alcaraz, born May 5th, 2003, grew up in Murcia, Spain. Alcaraz got his knack for tennis from his father, who greatly inspired him as he grew up. Alcaraz was only four when he started playing tennis at the Real Sociedad Club de Campo de Murcia, Royal Society Mercershire Club. At that time, his father was a tennis academy director. Shortly after, he began playing at Juan Carlos Ferrero's Iquilite, J.C. Ferrero Sport Academy in Vilena. Alcaraz was only 16 when appeared for his ATP main draw debut at the Rio Open. You will not believe what happened next. Alcaraz received a wild card for the singles main draw. After this, the tables turned for Carlos. He defeated Albert Ramos Vinolas. However, in the second round, he was defeated by Federico Correa. This year, Alcaraz made it to the Australian Open through the main draw. He was the youngest ever participant in the main singles. Because of his age, many did not take him seriously or consider him a worthy opponent. But no one saw this coming. He won his Grand Slam tournament debut against Botik van de Zanschulp in straight sets, but he lost to Mikkel Emer in the second round. Many took notice. At the Madrid Open, Alcaraz became the youngest player to win a match. He defeated Adrian Manorino as a wild card. That day, Alcaraz broke the 18-year-old record of Rafael Nadal from 2004. You will not believe what happened next. Rafael Nadal, five-time champion, lost to Alcaraz on his 18th birthday. Alcaraz claimed the biggest title of his career. At the 2021 Open de Juarez the third challenger tournament, he ranked in the top 100. In July of 2021, he appeared in his first ATP final at the Croatia Open Umag, defeating Albert Ramos Vignolas. He finally claimed the trophy after defeating Richard Gasquet. Alcaraz became the youngest ever tour-level champion since Kei Nishikori. He is also the first Spaniard to win an ATP tour title since Nadal. At Wimbledon, Alcaraz lost in the second round to Daniel Medvedev. At the US Open, he defeated world number three, Stefanos Tsitsipas. In a fifth set tiebreak, to reach the fourth round in the biggest win of his career. At this point in his career, he became the youngest man to reach a major fourth set since Andre Medvedev and the youngest man in the U.S. Open fourth round since Pete Sampras. When Alcaraz defeated Peter Gojocic, he also became the youngest U.S. Open men's quarterfinals in the Open era. Alcaraz was so close to greatness that fate intervened. He lost to Felix Auger Aliassime after injuring his leg in the second set. Carlos Alcaraz did not stop reaching. He came back to defeat Matteo Berrettini, claiming his second win over a top 10 player. As of November 2021, Alcaraz had established himself in the top 35. Alcaraz defeated Diego Schwartzman in the final of the Rio Open to gain his first ATP 500 title and shook the world of tennis in 2022. Alcaraz was now in the top 20 in the singles ranking. Lacaraz reached his first Masters 1000 quarter-final defeating Cameron Nori before losing to Rafael Nadal. But he did not back down. After defeating Casper Ruud, Alcaraz became entitled to his first Masters 1000 title. He went down in history as the youngest ever men's champion in this tournament's history. It seemed there was just no stopping Alcaraz. He made it to the top 10 after defeating top seed Stefanos Tsitsipas. 
He was the 20th 10 to rank in the top 10 overall since the ranking was established in 1973 by Rafael Nadal. Alcaraz took home the title of Barcelona Open. The world could not get enough of Alcaraz. It was unbelievable what the young player had achieved in such a short time. While many thought Alcaraz had gotten what he came out to achieve, they could not have been more wrong. A week after his 19th birthday, Alcaraz put the tennis world in an identity crisis. At the Madrid Open, he defeated five-time Madrid champion, third seed, and world's number four Rafael Nadal in the quarterfinal. The first teenager to beat him on clay. The very next day, he beat world number one top seed Novak Djokovic. The youngest person to ever win a match against the world number one. He is also the first person to beat both these tennis kings back to back. Finally, he won his fourth title and second Masters 1000 from defending champion Alexander Zverev. By 2022, Carlos Alcaraz was the youngest champion. He climbed to a career high, placing himself on the number six ranking. Now that's pizzazz. After the Croatia Open, Alcaraz jumped to number four in the world ranking. He entered the 2022 US Open as number three seed. Here, Alcaraz set his first record for the latest finish and the longest match in the US Open history. In the final, Casper Ruud and Alcaraz were both gunning for the title of number one. He broke Leighton Hewitt's record of the youngest number one. Since the era of Pete Sampras, he also became the first teenager in the Open era to top the men's rankings and the youngest men's US Open champion. At the age of 19 years and 214 days, Alcaraz ended the year as the first teenager to be a world number one. The year started off rocky. Alcaraz lost his number one title to Novak Djokovic after he withdrew from the Australian Open final due to a hamstring injury. Alcaraz came back to win back his ranking. He won the Argentina Open. He lost in the final of the Rio Open. When the Indian Wells Masters came, Alcaraz recorded his 100th career win. Before him, only John McEnroe and the Big Three had been able to reach this milestone this fast. After winning the tournament, he returned to number one ranking. A subsequent loss in Miami dropped him to number two again. Alcaraz did not back down. He won the Barcelona Open and Madrid Open, earning him his 10th career title. In the Rome Masters, Carlos Alcaraz successfully regained the number one position again, but quickly lost it again to Novak Djokovic in the final. Alcaraz tried his luck at the Queen's Club Championship in London, and he was able to become number one again. Before this year, Alcaraz had not had much luck with Wimbledon, but this year felt different. Entering the tournament as a top seed, he reached the final. He defeated Djokovic once again, ending his 34-match winning streak at Wimbledon 2023. We truly hope that US Open 2023 would be the same for this young star. After this, he stood second to Andy Murray, the only other person to defeat Djokovic in a Wimbledon final. He also became the first non-Big Four player to win Wimbledon. Carlos Alvarez has us all on the edge of our seats. The young boy has broken the tennis empire and taken everyone by surprise. The all-court, all-round player has a secret weapon. He relies on his forehand for his best shot. At such a young age, he has made it big. He is sponsored by Nike, Babolat, and even Rolex. BMW, Calvin Klein, and Louis Vuitton later joined in. Carlos Alcaraz has become a symbol of classy men who make their own destinies. With a powerful forehand, direct sprints, counter-attacking abilities, and extremely high foot speed, Alcaraz has it all. The young tennis player has broken all expectations and set new ones. Age does not define greatness, mindset does. But the burning question is, how will the rest of year go for this young star? Curious? Then follow us for the latest Tennis 2023 updates. He shines on as the world watches his next steps. Here is to the inspirational journey of Carlos Alcaraz. Subscribe for more videos.